Friends, we are on an adventure today. It is a rainy day. I mean, this is the perfect day to get inside and do some thrifting. I mean, look at this. I mean, can you, if you're gonna pass a porch like this, how can you not go in? What do you think, Matt? You're going in. I'm going in, you know I'm going in. We're actually stopping here at 119 Antique Trading Post. Uh, these are our friends, they are a retailer of our paints, Jump Monkey Paint. As you know, this vlog is powered by Jump Monkey Paint. And we're doing a drop off today, a restock. Chrissy inside has antiques, collectibles, Oh my gosh, just eye candy of all sorts. I get excited when I see windows like this. You do, and, and, and windows you like that. You could do so many had... things with them, though. <laughs> yes, I think we've done everything that you could possibly do with them. Yeah, put wreaths over them, leave them as is, you know, I paint on windows. Anyhow, Matt's already in here. I'm gonna join him now. We did the drop off. How pretty does this look over here? This is actually a piece that uh, Chrissy's working on right now in progress with Sandy Tantos, gorgeous. And look at this hutch. If you need some inspiration about, you know, what color to paint or if you should paint, I just love what she did with this hutch. So anyhow, oh, and by the way, this is one of her new projects here she's getting ready to do. Yeah, an old oak, uh, oak little dresser. Love Same. that. Yep. Hello, spring. Happy March 1st to you guys out there. Who else is excited for the change of seasons? Um, I love this little chair sitting here. Look at that. I mean, do you have any idea how old that is? I would say that's probably like four. 30s, 40s. I just love, look at all that twisted metal. Oh, I guess. you know what? I take it, it back. It looks like it wire. Might be or something. older than that. Yeah. What is it? Metal and wood Stool. with the cushion on it. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So fun. This was fun too. I saw, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting in the door here, guys. This is her fun little spring setup here. And we're going to walk around here. This is a big place. Yeah, it's about 5,000 square feet full of things that you could uh, search for high and low. Yes. And a lot of good quality stuff and, as well. Yeah, and there's all these booths. I think she said she has about 40 vendors. It is awesome in there. Lots of space to walk around. So clean. And I love going into booths to look around, to thrift, to pick for myself, and also to flip for you know a profit as well. And I know some people say, well, why would you go into an antique mall? Well, you know, these are all like little stores as well within, you know, under one big uh, roof. Sometimes you hit, like today, I hit on a booth that is 50% off. So they're all marked and you can just use your own judgment to decide, you know, like these owl salt and pepper shakers. Guess what? You bought them. Yeah, we took them home. They were six fifty for the set. I mean, that's an easy doubling price. I think that, and they're owls. Everybody loves owls. Um, you know, I collect owls. Do you collect owls? I think that that's a great collectible. I looked on the bottom. They also have their, there's Matt's hand. I'm taking them <laughs> because do? I'm trying to like, okay, you already decided on them. You can look at them when you get home. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was a dog or a lion. That is a lion. And that was neat. I mean, it's made in Japan, but it was kind of a luster wear one. Yeah, that, that was cute. I debated that. You know, I'm looking back now. I'm like, I should have took that one. That was super cute. I don't know if you see the tag. It, it wasn't that much. Yeah, six bucks, right? Like, that is absolutely beautiful. I think a collector would love that. I kept on looking. It says ring dish. I think it was an ashtray. It could be either, right? Yeah. You could take uh, hash trays and turn them into ring dishes. In fact, yeah. I think I do in this in this uh, well, visit. Right there is an ashtray. That's the right? one, isn't yeah. it? Didn't you didn't I take that one. No. What do you mean I didn't take you that one? You took another one. You sure? Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I, I catch it on camera where I hand you it to you. You took that one. Oh, that's right. I got sidetracked. I should have yeah. took the elephant too. Elephants so, are highly collectible. So what's funny is like everybody had ashtrays at their house when I was growing up. And now the ashtrays have become... A thing. Ring trays. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, so then I looked at the duck behind it. That's right. You see how quickly I just flip over? I just get excited. I see something else. Uh, when I go back to Chrissy's, if it's still there, I'm going to pick up that elephant little tray. I think it's adorable. Yes, and then I pass this to you. For $4, just guys. Like, give it. Yes, give you it took to it. Me. You ran up front. Yep, nice. and I'm, yeah, you're looking at well, it. Well, I'm here. making a pile, right? I'm making a pile for Chrissy <laughs> so she can. Write it off, have it all done. So when I get up there, yeah. Yes. She wrapped she wrapped them up so nice for us and put them into a bag. So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So let's look a little bit more right here and see what we can find. Oh, there's a grouping of birds. Yeah, those are cardinals. Those are Avon glass, actually. Is it a so. is it a flock of birds? It is a flock not a of herd, birds. Not a herd of birds. Oh Matt, you gotta see this. Matt's stepping away. You probably heard his phone ding in the background there. He's gonna turn that down. But look at this. What is it? Do you see it? I've never seen anything like this before. I don't. By the way, I like that I table too. It. I got sidetracked by the table. Sorry, I had to look. I think that's also done on Sandy Tantos. Look at this, Pat Bend. I've never no, heard that's of it. Pat now. Pending. Patent. 
Penny. <laughs> I thought it said Pat Bend. No, oh, it's Pat and Penny. Well, look at this. It looks like... <laughs> That's so funny. I'm so sorry. That is so funny. But anyway, do you see what it is? It's yes. measuring cups, uh, spoons, yep. in a ceramic decor piece. Yep. I don't see more of those. You want to laugh really hard right now, don't you? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's Do we have to do we have to have the do we have to have the 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 ba professional baseball game conversation? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. let's see. I, I read the stuff, you know, naively. By the way, this is paperweights, which I, I did take almost a paperweight today. But yes, Matt is laughing right now because let me guess, you're thinking back to the Pirates game that we went to. I was trying to identify the players, and I was reading the names and of the were, shirts out loud. And you're saying it real loud, and you're like, "Who is that player? Who is that?" What's this? What does the shirt say? What's it? What's bat? Bat, uh, bat. Ooh, bat, bat boy? Yeah. And you're just looking at me like. And everybody's looking at you around you. It's the bat boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I was really into like seeing who was playing on the field. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Those paperweights. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Shiny squirrel. Let's just focus on these. Okay. So yeah. So originally I love these paperweights. You're going to make me laugh again. I just. I can't I'm even look sorry, at right I'm laughing. So the paper <clears throat> weights right here, one was big, one was small, one was smaller. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to take the top two home, and then I think you came along after, and you noticed that there was a little chip in this one right here, so I decided to leave that one. But I did take, I think, the white one over here. Yeah, yeah the $6. Yeah. Guys, you know all along, all, all along, yeah, you know all day long, that's what I'm trying to say. I wasn't totally in love with this one. It was cool, but it just didn't float my boat, so I left that one there. Maybe if it's there another day. But yeah, if you're out looking for paperweights, which are very, very collectible, um, and they're fun, and they're beautiful, if you're like me, that love color and glass. I love anything, like, especially bubbly glass. When everything Hello? goes digital and there's no more paper, what, what are you going to... I'm going to stare at my paperweight collection. You're going to have to do a computer weight. <laughs> yeah, right. So, Hold anyway, love them. computer down from, flying, from being blown away. Okay. I'm brilliant. There, the, yes. Look yes. at me. This, look at this jug. This is cool. Look at me go. I know. You have all kinds of good ideas. <laughs> so, yeah. Love the paperweight. Took it home. Could definitely flip that one for a profit. It will be listed. So, this jug here was full of buttons. Had a little bit of plaid on the um, handle, which I thought was super cute. Look at this. Okay. This is a paperweight. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's got that? floaty things in it. Now, it was plastic. Right. I've never seen one like that. And then I turned the tag over, and it says... Duck paperweight with pen holder. Look. Oh, look. Those are are those Canadian uh, Canadian loonies. loonies you know, I never there? looked too close at the coin. I just saw Queen Queen. Uh, it might have been Elizabeth on there. So this was another cute little thing. The bird on the trinket dish. Love that. You can never have. I mean, you might feel a little differently, your guy. But for me, on my vanity, I love to put like you know when you're taking off your rings at the end of the night, you just need something to put them into. This was very, very sweet. And, you know, if you are into thrifting and flipping, keeping it for yourself, or if you want to make some profit and you find some good stuff that you want to share that other people might love, these are great size objects because you can ship them very easily. Signed dish. Ashtray. Four fifty. You think it's an ashtray? That's an ashtray. So I can't. Okay. What is the name on the back of that? I'm just going to ask you what the names are from now on. It looked like Trish Steele. Probably or was. something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think the name was? <clears throat> I love this. Now this reminded me of that peacock. Yeah. You know the basket that had the la in the last vlog that had that handle on it, and I missed. I love the gold. I love the teals. I and I did I take that home. I did take that one home. I love that one. The seashell. Well, look at that. Totally, <clears throat> totally like Beauty and the Beast mirror. <clears throat> Beautiful. So this is just all kinds of jewelry, vintage purses, which. You know, I debated trying my hand at some vintage purses here. I thought these bead purses were really, you know, a good pr a price for those. You could easily flip your, um, what you've paid for them. But look at this. This was gorgeous. I would wear that. Problem is, I need more room. I need like a giant bag, okay? I got a lot of things I need to carry. Those you, are cute. The, the people out in YouTube land can't see my head right now. Right. Well, listen, think about this, though. <laughs> when they designed purse way back then, what would you carry? Your lipstick? Mm. Right? Yeah. Now, we got phones that we carry. We got stuff, man, that we need to carry. There you go. Did you see this piece? The carnal, peach carnival glass? Yes. Yep. Thank Which you. we still can't figure out. Oh, it just blew my mind when I realized oh, that this I'm is sorry. the stuff it's that they did. Marigold. Marigold. We're learning. 
This is stuff at carnival glass. They gave away at carnivals. Yeah. Glass stuff that they gave away at carnivals. Yeah, don't take it on the roller coaster. It just blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to find Either people bins. were much more careful way back then. Right. Or we just were like, suck it up. <laughs> oh, you lost finger? Too bad. Yeah, definitely one of those things that you'd have to leave up front. You know where it says you've, leave your bag yeah, and drinks You've here. been impaled in a shards of glass. Should deal with it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, just very different times, man. We just live in different times. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'd love to have a time machine to go back and imagine witnessing a carnival. All the safety there. violations. <laughs> Could you People imagine? Drink from water hoses. Yeah, and modern day OSHA inspector goes back a hundred years. He'd lose his mind. There's the little chippy chip. Yeah, I didn't. It looks see that. like somebody clacked Maybe it together. It fell on the you floor know, when you were a kid and you'd yeah. you clack them together and then they would like splinter. Yes, you know. Like when you have marbles in your hand. Hmm? Oh, there's nothing better than putting your hand into a jar of marbles and all the glass just clinking together. Mm, that's hmm. good. That's good. That's that's good ASMR. Marbles. Yes. And buttons. And buttons. Come on. You never played with marbles? Why are you looking at me like that? No, I didn't. What? You don't even know. You don't even know. I think know. they gave it. I, my, I think I'm going to get a jar of marbles when I was and a kid, play with them. Well, no. You got to think. When I was a kid, the Star Wars toys were first coming out. You know, the really cool action figures. And if somebody gave me marbles, I'd get upset. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I never played a game with marbles, though. I know that there are games that you can play. I, I would just have fun with them, like, yeah, just playing with them on the floor and batting them around. But I think there's actual marble games where you yeah. can, like, push them on the floor. and Sticker collections took up much less. The scratch and sniff stickers took up much less Anybody room. play with marbles? Yeah, I love stickers, too. Yeah. Okay, these gnomes, I took them home. I thought they were so cute. I know that gnomes are highly collectible. They were three ninety five a piece, so I'm going to sell them as a set. I really like the color of this this glass, but it just the quality wasn't quite there. The heaviness wasn't quite there. There was a lot of seams on it, as you can see. How Not seen. just one seam, but four seams. Right? Yeah, I wondered if it. For, I put it on the floor so I could really look at the tag for a second, and I think it said five dollars glassware. So I'm guessing it wasn't from like a collectible. I, I line think of glass. it's a modern piece, to be honest with you. It's still beautiful. Do you yeah, see it's the really stem cool. and the yeah, rose? I, I like. I said it was an unusual color for carnival glass, which I really like. Yeah, the green. That's beautiful. You usually see the you know the peach and the marigold, um, even a red. And a dark blue, but you very rarely see it in a green like that. The lime green? Yeah. It's so pretty. And that kind of gives it away, too, from the same booth. That's a Bella Casa piece from the 90s. So I think maybe because of how many seams were in it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Uh, I remember when you used to see the commercials where he would break through. Yeah. 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 Oh, fun times. Glass should never, a glass entity should never be running through a brick wall i never thought about that yeah yes you're right think about that you know he, he if he ever broke yeah dude he'd be done in less than a minute he'd just all pour out what were they thinking a glass yeah. kool-aid jar yeah. yeah and why was he out there like like advertising his insides i don't know put some clothes on <laughs> drink me yeah uh good memories yes so i'm having fun here now i'm disturbed um, um, Things you know, that make you go, hmm. That's where I, people have seen where my brain gone. It's not good. Yeah. These were cute, too. Chickens. I debated getting these. Four bucks. Who collects chickens? Who would have taken them home? See, you could easily flip a pair of chicken salt and pepper shakers. Love it. Now, these are Crocs. It's a croc. I love <laughs> these Crocs. All right. Yes. I do have a couple of them, but uh, I don't know. I know that they're highly hey, collectible. Tricky. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is some spring decor. Okay, look at this guy. I remember these dogs. Yes. Those dogs were everywhere when I was a kid. Do you remember being, like, you come up to a car. I can mm -hmm. still remember everyone mine. And it would be laying on the back window. Yes. Window. And you'd see it there, and it'd be Bob, and you'd just be like, wow, that is so cool. <laughs> we were, yeah. Another thing about us as kids compared to kids today, very easily entertained. Right. Yeah, I've never seen I wanted a bobblehead. Absolutely. So this is a chair that I came across here. Somebody was very creative. Do you see what that is? That was a, uh, oh, that's like little ties. Yeah, tie collection. Somebody touch my ties, they'd be in problems. <laughs> I was very, when I was in the cor corporate world, I was very particular about my ties. I know. You know that. You like your ties. They had yeah. to be silk. They had to be unique. 
They couldn't be like everything else, and they couldn't be cheesy. Yeah, you'd stand there in the tie section and look at them, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a whole thing, right? Yeah, and I'd be upset if I had to walk away from the tie section. So if you if you have your hands on a grouping of ties, maybe you want to think about doing, turning them into a chair. That would be a, a nice little way, like if you have a decorative chair done with that from ties, like you know from a loved one or something, and you're trying to find a way to use it because they're on display. It's beautiful. Yep. Put a little pillow there in the corner. Don't sit on it. Just enjoy it. And how many times have I wore ties in the last ten years now? I don't know a day you wore a tie. Maybe once. Right. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> I know just a couple times. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a booth here with 50% off. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? What is that? And I looked at this one and I think it felt like a spider flower to me. Like it had, it looked like creepy crawly legs. You see that tarantula feeling? Yeah. My eyes didn't love it. Oh, uh, this, this is where the pepper came from. Yes. Matt joins me in the booth and I'm like, here, put this up front. I want this one too. It is a red pepper paper weight. Say that five times fast. Red pepper paperweight. Red, red pepper paperweight. Paper paper See? Red pepper paperweight. Yeah. Red pepper paperweight. Red pepper paperweight. Red pepper paperweight. Okay. Weight. All right. Apparently you don't have the problems I do. <laughs> Art glass. Gorgeous. You get hit in the head Great. enough. Yeah. That's not an issue. Okay. So it just <laughs> rolls off your tongue. Yeah. So look at these. These were cute. I like those. I was looking at those. Yeah. So 18 that 18 would be what? was a little bit more. It would be $9. $9. Yeah. If I really want them. If I wanted them for myself, yes. Exactly, yeah. Sometimes you want to just buy Maybe stuff for yourself. Maybe when we get a house in Florida. Okay, I'm from Canada, them. and I could not tell what was in this box. It says souvenir salt, salt and pepper, pepper set. Which would have made them, what, $2 now that yeah. I think about it? But I couldn't tell what was in it. Glittery. It's in Florida. So. You might not want them because it was glittery. No, no. You bring... Did it say Canada? No, it said Florida. Okay. Maybe that's why I couldn't make the connection to Canada because... Mm. I don't maybe I read it completely wrong. Maybe they're in a can, like C A N. There's old Fort Pitt beer uh, salt and pepper shakers. All kinds of stuff in here. Uh, I like that one because they had a little turntable to it. This is the back corner of the same booth here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we see over here. I was debating getting this. I don't know what that nine oh seven means. Oh yeah. You know anybody know out there with the nine oh seven? I see a lot of stuff engraved with numbers on the bottom of it, but I don't know really what that is. Mm -hmm. I was feeling like the very top of it just to see if there was any chips. Anybody else do that? Sometimes you can't see them with your eyes, but you take your finger and your finger will hit any sort of like sharp pieces or anything. So if you oh see yeah, me do that. I love sacrificing my finger. I know, right? For the sake of the thrift game, <laughs> rub your finger over a potentially sharp surface. Yes, 50% off. And a little Fenton piece. Well, we wondered if it was Fenton, right? Yeah. It's Hobnail. I, I'm pretty sure that that's Fenton. What do you guys think? Anybody recognize it from your uh, Fenton collectible travels? We did not take it with us. So it would have been $7. Yeah. And it was an amber Hobnail. No, Hobnail is the pattern, and it's made by other glass manufacturers. Oh, well, Matt, I'm look. just talking... Oh, clowns. Great. I had to get those for I you. was just thinking around the... Uh, the um, rim where they have it like the that, scallop that yeah the sca the flowery type thing i don't know that was very fentanyl right i think that was milk glass maybe yes i don't know that looked like hobnail pattern too yes right there you see that yeah oh i go back to it oh it's got the spikies on it yeah yeah now that i think about it that one was a little bit more i think i looked at that too yeah what is the pattern on that i'm trying to remember um, it is hobnail. Yeah, it has the more spiky patterns versus the more rounded edge. Hobgoblin or hobnail. <laughs> All right, tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Some toys. They don't make toys like they used to. Nope. Always a throwback. Dude, they don't make metal. The best ones are metal toys. Because mm -hmm. when you're with your siblings and your siblings, you know, they didn't play politely. They knew they were getting clunked with the uh, metal toy. Right. And those things did some damage. This is true. <laughs> so I followed you over to a different section of the store here at this point, and this is what you wanted to because share with I me, right? Because I found this Jello mold clock. It's I don't beautiful. know if there's rock or wood in the glass, but it's glass. It almost looks like a cork piece of that. I know. Point. That's what I thought too. I felt it, and you can feel it in there. There's actually a piece. I'm like, well, that stuff wouldn't survive a molten piece of glass so i'm guessing it might be rocks i don't know i've never seen a clock like that now so i come around the back side of the shelf in a second and you yeah, show me there's a tag back there right you get distracted by gordy the bear gordy the bear has eyeballs he's super cute i want gordy okay yeah next visit back i might have to take gordy home yep. in this visit i got a ton of thrift stuff to flip so yeah gordy might be coming home okay here's the back yep it's a 
Blanchard. I think I zoom in here in just a second, yeah. guys. If anybody recognizes this um, clock, let us know. Yeah. There it is, Landshire. Landshire. Clock move at Landshire. Yeah. So it has the original thing. You can tell by the cord it was really old, but it has the original tag on it. Um, it's got to be special because I really was, liked it. Yeah. It it's was priced at what? What does this vendor have it on it? It was priced at 75 which if it was a little cheaper, I might have thought about taking it home. And you were taken over by this rabbit here. It's an iridescent bunny. I had to look it's, at it's it. It's weird. It's like a it was bunny cool. inside a bunny. So were these sheep. Inside a bunny. Anything with eyeballs, you know I'm drawn to. Like a moth to a flame. Love it. Yeah, that clock was really, really cool. I've never seen any any clocks like that. Right. Just it's absolutely crochet beautiful. lamps. Yeah, they're cool, right? Yeah. Some more little critters. It's a whole little thing going on up there. Mm -hmm. They're all hanging out. I like this little frame down here. It was, um, you could do this with windows like we were talking about. Put some chicken wire into them. Drape some, um, you know, some eggs across the top. Plastic eggs. I remember one Easter, you went egg crazy. I it was it was an excellent time. I had an no, excellent time. I was out looking. You were sending me out looking for eggs everywhere. Yes, I know. That's a nice little... I was having fun with them. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, it's blowing glass. It says it's a bug trap. Yeah. I just read that. I didn't recognize it. I was actually thinking it was perfume or something. It's the weirdest trap. smelling perfume you ever want to smell, right? Yeah. Tracks bugs. Smells like death. <laughs> yeah. If you're a bug, don't. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just all a trap. Oh, I love this section here. It was filled up with all kinds of buttons look at this each cans. yeah buttons um i would just display it like that i just think that's beautiful if you have a hutch look at the dice look at the dice if they're not 20 sided i don't care do they make 20 sided dice you obviously never grew up playing dungeons and dragons no apparently <laughs> i did not this is the this is like kitchen stuff over here look at that little folk art chicken for six dollars Cute, lots of cookie jars a cow in this and a section. Dress. Yeah, old stuff in here. All Nothing kinds disturbing of stuff. about a cow in a dress. I love also finding uh, letters like this. You know, a giant R. Yeah. Maybe if it said M for Miller, we should this, get it. Look at the size of this sawmill blade. Okay, what what are you thinking here? That is a giant sawmill blade. That's just like the ones you could go and uh, you know live out your Looney Tunes, Wile E. Coyote fantasies with the. Uh, Giant saw blade. People paint them now too, I, right? You the smaller work ones, that one, them. that one, I would never. So it would have been used in a sawmill. Yeah, that was for the. Don't go are, near it. Like I said, those are like the finger. ones you would see in cartoons and, wow. you know, the old, where people be tied to the log and. Uh, remember? So, oh my goodness. Yeah. So now we're in another section. Another. Don't booth. do that. Look at that. You're it's not allowed. Moon. You're not allowed doing that. Doing what? Time people logs and send them through. Oh, yes. Disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't buy that saw blade if you have bad yeah. intentions. Okay. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. <laughs> so, this is a little dish which I debated taking home as well. I love the shape of it. It had flowers. It was a moon. It was $4 and change. Would you have taken it home? No. Look at this glass. No, we didn't. Look at that blue glass in there. That's pretty. <laughs> we didn't take it home. No. Maybe no. next time. No. Put your earmuffs on. Maybe next time. No. Maybe next time. I like this little piece here. It says, okay, this is this is the question of the vlog. What? If you've made it this far, we love you. It says, is it a bunny or is it a mouse? It's a bunny. Bunny? It's a bunny. Or a mouse. It's obviously a rabbit. You think so? Yeah, $5. because look at its tail. I debated taking it didn't have the a... bunny slash mouse home. The ears are long. That's a bunny. Okay. All day long. <laughs> what is your that, 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 you, No, just stop. Okay, all right, you think it's bunny. All right. That isn't even close. It has a little hole in the top. I'm guessing um, I've learned that this is probably like for oil and put an oil wick into it. Mm -hmm. Probably the best thing. You know it's me. It's a bunny. I try to cram a, you know, a candle in anything that has a hole at the top, but that one it's looks a, like something for something else. It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Okay, all right. <laughs> there's like no there's like no doubt. Well, hey, you seem pretty confident, so... I'm willing to uh, agree with you on that one. Um, you're going to get roasted in the comments because people are going to be like, No, I'm agreeing with That's you. That's a rabbit. Yeah, I think so too. Now look at the sparkly fruit. What is that? Sparkly fruit. I wouldn't eat it. Look at this. That's like it's like the fruit. I've never seen anything like, like this a, before. That's like the Twilight vampire fruit. Eat me. You know? Look at that. You nice know how in Twilight, back there. what's his face is all shiny in the sunlight? 
Edward. Yeah, in order to to right? lure in his victims. Okay. So that fruit is like shiny. His skin lure, sparkles like diamonds. To lure in his victims, you know. So that's the fruit. So yeah, he probably eats like you know there's bananas there, so you know he lures in the monkeys, and when the monkeys get close, it eats the monkey. Okay. You know. Okay. I'm just saying. All right, that's that's a different take on the book. All right, we're gonna move this cute little that's gnome here. That's what it is. That's why they're shiny, right? Right. They're supposed to be pretty to lure people in. Like this, it's totally lure me in. Exactly. Now, what is that, you think? That what, is, we, what did we learn that was? That might be, is that's carnival, carnival glass. glass. But that oh. looks like a Fenton bowl, to be honest with you, that pattern. Now, I had know. grapes, but I would be willing to get beyond my dislike of grapes on beautiful decor. Because that is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's like aqua purple blue. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is an example of just stuff that you can upcycle. Look at this. This was an old toolbox. Just paint it. Add a little greenery. Gorgeous. Somebody out there is thinking, I'm going to pull out the old toolbox that I got, and I'm going to paint it. Now, there was a cow in a farmer's outfit. Was it? So, we had a cow in a dress and a cow in a farmer's outfit. We all know who does the work on the farms. At opposite ends of the, of the store. Right. In two different booths. That was the dancing cow. This is the that, I work on the farm that's, section. That's making me kind of, it's, that's not good. He loves the drugs. Now, the you weren't standing by me here, but I did get video of something I see in a second. And I thought it was really cool. And being that, you know, nice. you have experience as a chef, you'll probably know what this kitchen utensil is. I was looking at all the decor, primitive. Yeah, this is probably more of a primitive section. Who out there is digging everything they're seeing right now? You know, farmhouse, primitive, country. You could all use those words interchangeably because they're pretty much all the same. But, yeah. Somebody's head's exploding right now. No, they're not. It's true, right? Yeah. <laughs> words just change, but it, but the decor doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that distressed, time-worn, aged, you know. All right, sort of so look. what is it? Okay, I'm getting to it. First, we're going to look at the cookie cutters. No. These were interesting cookie cutters. Look at them. What is that? You think that's a rabbit? No. No. That's got feet. What is that? No tail either. I don't know what that was. That looks like a, like a, um, uh, a club from... A spade. Uh, that's a spade here. Nah, that looked like a club. It had three little things, right? And then I go to the other side because... I spotted something. I'm like, oh, a gingerbread man. But then I'm like, no. What is that? That's some kind of man with a <laughs> hat. This thing. What is that? That's a colander. For what? It's, it's a, you could do some different things, right? 